What up boys and welcome back to another video. So it's currently 5 a.m. today and uh, I gotta shoot this video really early because I'm going on a work trip today. So uh, it, it's now or never, right? So uh, this is one of the cleanouts in my ongoing YouTube channel right now, which is basically just going from zero gold to 10 million gold, like showing people exactly how easy it is following something as simple as the steps in the zero to 10 million gold guide. So if you guys haven't picked that up yet, you can get it for 50% off using code Shadowlands. And if you want to get early access to all of my videos, join the special discord and join my group farms. You can also sign up for the VIP supporter, but it's going to be all linked down below in the description and comment section. So, so far we, it's been like a one month and two days, I believe on the uh, the challenge and we're at 5.6 million gold before looking at the mailbox uh for this week so that's that's relatively decent because i don't play that much like i'm back to work i only stream like uh, four days a week like three hours a day and i do some solo farming in between but uh 5.6 million gold is what i received in under a month and right now uh, I've sold way less auctions. This is the week where I've sold the less amount of auctions and probably made the uh, the least amount of gold as well. And that is because playtime. Right? I haven't played that much. I haven't undercut auctions that much. And I play on a full pop realm with like a million of my my own viewers are also playing on this realm, watching every single live stream that I do, farming the exact same thing that I do. So when I do an undercut scan. I'm just undercutting my viewers all the time. Like, I recognize their names on the undercut list. Uh, we're going to take a look and see if there's uh, something of interest that's worth mentioning. Right off the bat, I always love selling items like this, like wind scale, 10 of them for like 800 gold each. Because it, it's like a material that doesn't sell super fast, but doing an hour of it and once it has eventually all sold, the gold per hour is absolutely insane. Selling some more TBC gems, uh, those, those are always good. Some Elementium bars, we've got Fell Slate, Volatile Water, Volatile Fire, 30,000 gold in those. I did finally sell a Batra Tilt, only 30,000 gold though. Storm Silver Ore, Enchanted Elementium for the worst price in the history of mankind. Like, prices of my realm are absolutely dog shit. Primal Water absolutely dog shit i shouldn't have sold these this this cheaply like this is really bad same with the primal fire like this it's the undercuts man it, like it's so bad like these as well golden pearls 12k for 34 of them also super bad the thing is though like normally i would never sell any of these for these prices but uh, I would just hold on to them because I know eventually they're going to go up in price or I would just use them for crafting uh, transmog items to sell for a profit. But right now I'm just going from zero gold to 10 million gold. And uh, like I, I just need to get sales constantly, sell it and then back on the grind again. So I'm willing to sell stuff way cheaper than I would normally be. Living Steel, that's pretty good. 38 of these for 42k. I bought a lot of cheap Spirit of Harmony. So it was easy uh, to make a lot of living steel. Primal Fire, 41 of those are 12k. Again, horrible price. However, like a lot of these primals and the primals above, I did actually buy Moat of Fire extremely cheaply. Like I don't remember the exact price for a Moat, but there's currently a lot of bots doing old content mining. And uh, they've been doing a lot of fell iron mining, which gives you a mode of fire, and they've sold a mode of fire really cheaply. So uh, it's not like I went out and spent hours farming this. Uh, so pro tip, check your auction house of cheap modes. And then we have Primal Mana, 140 of those, 16k once again. Nothing to brag about. So one Primal Might for a decent price of 6k, and a sealed Tomb of Lost Leecher for a bad price. But hey, after the first uh, 100 auctions, we should be at 6 million gold. That's something. And then there's 100 auctions left. I have no clue if it's going to be a decent clean out, though. Absolutely no clue. We got 6.1 million, and then we have 103 auctions left, which is not bad. 537. 
So let's see. Is there anything worth mentioning? A lot of mining. A lot of mining. No much dice. That's very bad at 10k. Saronite bar. Saronite ore into uh, the bar like 23k. Nothing uh, Nothing too good. Volta water. 43k. But that was for 2k of them. Dark runes. Finally sold some dark runes. Which means I have to go out and farm more dark runes. 15k. Not a good price. They're super hard to sell. But um, they're so hard to sell that I... I mean, I was kind of skeptic if I would sell them before I hit 10 million gold at all. So just selling them is better than ha still having them after the challenge is gone or done. Corium bar. On my realm, this is actually not too bad. Like, this is shit on most realms, but like 16k for 21 Corium bar. Fell iron bar is selling. Damp skill basilisk guy. This is very bad. Like, this is a great farm. Absolutely love it. But this means that I only made 25,000 gold an hour on that farm. And I, it could have been way more. It really could have. Um, let's see. Saranite bar again. Some living steel. Living steel. Laystone. Bashir's veil again. Is there anything else that's cool? Titan steel. Primal water. More TBC gems. It's just a bunch of minor materials. But you know, it all adds up. Uh, more TBC gems, primal fire, fell steel, fell iron. Was that? Oh shit! Yeah, there's a the panda mount, the Alani mount, the thundering ruby cloud serpent. Sold one of those again. This time for uh, 25k and 537k in total on these hundred auctions. There's only a three auctions left to clean out. But uh, did we increase our gold with a million? Uh, we can check the mailbox or the TSM data afterwards to see how much we made in total. I can already see that the uh, last three auctions is nothing to brag about. <laughs> yeah, it really isn't. But hey, four auctions, 23k gold on it. Like minor, just small numbers like this, it all adds up. And we did actually make above a million. We made 1,042,000 gold this week. Which is not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'm not complaining. I haven't played that much. So a million gold in a week. Can't complain. Uh, but that was also it for uh, today's video. Like right now, we're missing uh, roughly 3,350,000 gold, right? In order to hit um, gold cap. So I'm not sure. If, even if I just average a million gold a week-ish, I should be able to hit 10 million gold in a total of like seven weeks or so which i'm super happy with it all comes down to uh knowing what you should farm and then it's just a, a numbers game like how many hours can you put in and that's going to determine like how fast you will make gold cap but you do need to know exactly what to farm and where to farm it though so if you guys want help with that you could always as i said pick up the zero the 10 million gold guide and as a step-by-step -step basis to uh telling you exactly what to farm and where to farm it and then which farm to move on to so it's really easy to follow along but that was it for today's video so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all back in on tomorrow's video but until then bye bye